Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. Today we're going to talk about a multifunction DC power supply cable. I bought this one from Little Mushroom in Lazada. The reason why I bought this cable is so that I can use its um, direct power functionality. As you can see, this thing has a um, banana connector which you connect to a DC or variable power supply and the good thing with this is it doesn't limit me or it doesn't limit my cable power to 5 volts like what the other DC power supply cable do for example my mechanic um, power supply um, it limits the power to 5 volts and I cannot go down to let's say 1 volt, 2 volts and it just stays at 5 volt. If I use the if I change my power supply to uh, 1 volt for example then it will not work. There will be no power coming in or coming out from that um, uh, cable box. So this thing comes with alligator clip and the USB connector or socket which is my favorite part I'll tell you why later so there's a box in the middle of it and you might think that this is a limiter which limits the DC power supplies voltage down to 5 but no that is not the case and to prove that we're gonna have to open this um, small box and see what's inside this thing If you look at the circuit board, there is not much to look at. It's like the other side of this circuit board is connected to the other side as well. With the exception of the um, resistors that was installed in the middle. I'm assuming that those resistors are there for um, protection for high voltage. Let's bring out my microscope and let's see and take a closer look at the PCB so the value of the resistors are 203 ohms and a 100 plus 1 I mean 100 ohms so this DC power supply cable doesn't have a controller like that of the mechanic box it means it does not limit the voltage that will be coming from a DC power supply to 5 volts with that information in hand it means that you can use the 1 volt to test out your uh, damaged motherboard. Okay, let's put back the cover. Okay, I have another one that is very similar to the first one and this DC cable came together with the Kai C1505 TD power supply. It is very similar with the first one except for a few minor uh, difference. For instance, the connectors for this one is a bit bigger 
slightly bigger and um, much sturdier compared to the previous one. Also the type of cable that was used is a bit thicker. It also came with the alligator and if you look at the USB socket you will notice the difference that this is better. It is completely enclosed except for the port. Likewise the other one, the previous one is kind of um, uh, open type. Okay, let's open it also and see what's inside. Let's confirm if it has a uh, control board. If you look at the PCB board, it is worth noting the absence of um, some kind of microcontrollers. It only has a primitive um, PCB board with no apparent um, components. But if we flip this one, we might find something at the back. So let's go ahead and try to remove the screw from this. Now that I've lift it over, we can see that there are three resistors at the back of this PCB. Let's zoom in to see and check the color coding. This in the middle and the one on the right side has similar um, color codings. So their values must be exactly the same. If we look at the colors for this one, the left side, I'm not sh very sure if it's brown or something. But I can clearly see the colors on the uh, two resistors on the right, which will probably read um, two ohms. Okay, let's put back the cover. The reason why I want these two DC power cables 
to have not a uh, controller board or something is because of this mechanic um, Android cables. So these are Android boot cables, which is uh, a DC type. I would like to use this directly with those two DC connectors. So using this the USB um, connectivity, I can then connect this um, DC uh, ribbon cables to those uh, direct um, cables, direct power cables. That way, the power that will go through these ribbon cables will not be limited. And I can go down below the 5 volts limit. Which is very important if you're trying to observe which component is getting hot on the PCB board. Okay, let's. I just connected this USB to USB connector and I'm going to uh, plug this to my KC1505 TD uh, variable power supply. So here's my um, multimeter. I'm going to test. How much power is going to the cables um, once I connected my ribbon um, DC power supply cable to these um, direct power cables. So what I'm doing here is I'm connecting the probes of the multimeters to this um, alligator cliff. It should show me the DC voltage that will come from the KC1505 TD power supply. So as you can see, I was able to set the voltage lower than 5 volts. On the right is the KC direct power supply, I mean variable power supply, and on the left side is the multimeter which shows the reading of the voltage. So I can go all the way up to 15 volts, and if I use the mechanic uh, power supply, it should stay at 5 volts if my voltage is greater than 5. And if it's lower than 5, it will not um, give or it will not yield any voltage. So you can see how important it is for us um, to be able to get our 1 volt uh, voltage from our um, cable. As you can see, I'm testing it from switching from 1 volt to 3 volts and, and up and then I can put it to 5 volts it won't matter this is the perfect cable for repairing or detecting um, shorts in um, on a PCB board or logic boards Let's disconnect this one and plug the other DC direct power cable which came with the KC1505 TD power supply. Okay, this is the first one that I bought. This is not the one, sorry, the, let I stand corrected. The first one that I tested was the ones that came with the KC1505. Now this um, direct cable that is connected at the moment was the one that I purchased from Lazada. You might be wondering, why did I buy two? Actually, I didn't know that uh, the KC1505 TD will come with it. So I ordered a... Uh, 
the one the first one from Lazada so I can have a direct power cable anyway so now we're going to clean up and explain to you why there's a need for that okay here's my sick thermal um, infrared camera this is just one of the tools that you can use to detect a short circuit or a hot component on a PCB board You mostly set the voltage to 1 uh, volt and use this camera to detect the heat that will come out uh, after that. And um, you might wonder why 1 volt because that is the safest voltage that you can apply to a logic board without damaging the components uh, on it. Anyway. These are the cables that I just tried. Uh, I hope you like this um, mini review. And if you find um, this video uh, helpful, please do subscribe to my channel. And have a nice day everyone. Thank you for watching.